As of now, there are over 5,000 exoplanets discovered, and scientists are not stopping their quest to find and sustain life in outer space. So did James Webb truly find city lights in an exoplanet? Join us as we explore Webb's discovery of city lights, which projects the future of life beyond Earth. In collaboration with its partners ESA, the European Space Agency, and CSA, the Canadian Space Agency, NASA operates the massive and powerful telescope, James Webb Telescope, named after a NASA administrator, James E. Webb who spearheaded the Apollo program in the 1960s. American President Joe Biden called this mission of exploring the universe with the JWST a new window into the history of our universe. NASA's administrator Bill Nelson also mentioned that very soon, we would have a unique view of the cosmos like we have never seen before. The James Webb Telescope is fully equipped with very sensitive detectors to study a variety of undiscovered planets orbiting the stars afar. These are called exoplanets, and over 4,000 of these have been discovered. NASA believes that there could be trillions of these exoplanets out in space, whose makeup has significant indicators that there may be life out there. Just recently, astronomers could use this giant masterpiece, the James Webb Space Telescope, to capture five awestruck images of stars emitting spectacular blue and orange light with galaxies intertwined around them. The JWST is capable of detecting sunlight passing through the atmosphere of an exoplanet when it passes across the face of its star. The James Webb Telescope has captured an exoplanet called HIP 65426b, which is about six times the mass of Jupiter. It's a young planet about 15 to 20 million years old, compared to the Earth, which is about 4.5 billion years old. The exoplanet is referred to as a gas giant, implying that it lacks a rocky surface and cannot be habitable. NASA made an official release of this image on September 1st. The image reveals that Webb has a powerful infrared gaze that can easily capture worlds outside our solar system. JWST's initial mission was to examine the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system around 40 light years from Earth. It's made up of about seven rocky planets that are about the same size as our planet Earth, around a red dwarf star in the habitable zone. Proxima Centauri is a light red dwarf star that is 4.25 light years away from the Sun and gives us the best opportunity to view and observe city lights outside the solar system. Proxima b is believed to be tidally locked as it shows the same side to the stars at all times, just like the Moon does to the Earth. That is, there's a permanent night side and day side on the Proxima b planet, and models have revealed that the planet's atmosphere tends to make the planet vulnerable to rapid collapse due to the freezing out of volatile gases on the night side of the planet. In the image captured by the JWST, the infrared heat signature on Proxima b is revealed as the telescope has a strong affinity for the infrared region of the spectrum and is a visible means of detecting the planet's atmosphere. The JWST is set to complete its orbit around Proxima b in 11.2 Earth days to measure the infrared radiation from both the day and night sides of the exoplanet, after which the next stage will be the determination of the planet's atmosphere. That's if it does have an atmosphere at all. Chemical elements like oxygen, methane, and water vapor will be paid attention to as their presence indicates habitable conditions on the exoplanet Proxima b. However, still, Webb is not yet able to identify the presence of unbonded oxygen, the strongest indicator of life. The most exciting part of the JWST's discovery isn't just about images, but rather spectrographic data of the planet WASP-96b. Planet WASP-96b is an exoplanet about 150 light-years away from the Earth. This spectrographic data was captured by the Near Infrared Imager and Slitless Spectrograph, a piece of JWST equipment that measures various wavelength intensities. This spectrographic data from the JWST has provided us with information that suggests that there might be water on this planet. Scientists have been able to analyze the graphical representation of the image and reveal that there is indeed water and water vapor on the atmosphere on exoplanet WASP-96b. Regardless of this amazing discovery, this planet is still too hot to harbor any form of life as the temperature of this planet is around 530 degrees Celsius. The exoplanet HIP 65426b was first discovered in 2017 by astronomers who used the SPHERE instrument on the European Southern Observatory's telescope in Chile and captured images of the exoplanet using short infrared wavelengths of light. The James Webb Telescope used longer infrared wavelengths and showed new details that ground-based telescopes could not have captured or detected due to the intrinsic infrared glow of Earth's atmosphere. The exoplanet was captured glowing hot after its formation, 
It's challenging to capture images of exoplanets directly due to the overwhelming glow of their stars. As a result, astronomers who deploy the use of both ground and space-based instruments have only been able to image about 20 exoplanets so far, including HIP 65426b. Webb, due to its modified setup of a much larger mirror and state-of-the-art sensors, Webb is supposed to see these exoplanets much more clearly than the 32-year-old Hubble Space Telescope, which is very sensitive to wavelengths. The JWST operates at a temperature of minus 266.75 degrees Celsius, just a few points above absolute zero, which is minus 273 degrees Celsius. This powerful telescope can maintain this temperature by orbiting the Sun instead of the Earth. The L2 Lagrange point is where this giant telescope remains at all times and is about 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth. This way, it can orbit around the Sun while still maintaining its optimal temperature. The JWST is designed in such a way that it can observe a slower frequency range than its predecessor Hubble. It's capable of visualizing wavelengths between 0.6 to 28 micrometers. It has a primary mirror that comprises 18 hexagonal mirror segments. These mirror segments are gold-plated beryllium, and they combine to form a mirror with a 6.5-meter diameter. The JWST has two cameras, Near Infrared Camera, or NearCam, and Mid Infrared Instrument, or MIRI, which are both equipped with chronographs, sets of small masks that block out starlight and make it possible for direct images of exoplanets to be taken. Just to chip in, Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, launched later this decade, will reveal an even more advanced chronograph. The near-infrared camera captures a shorter infrared wavelength. The mid-infrared instrument, known as MIRI, can capture a longer wavelength. The telescope also uses a five-layer sunshield that helps it block light from the sun, moon, and earth. Eileen Gonzalez, 51 Pegasi B postdoctoral fellow in the Department of Astronomy in the College of Arts and Sciences and a member of the observation team, made some comments where she said, This is just the beginning, and it's already exciting. The improvements in our understanding we are getting with JWST are so impressive. I can't wait to see what else we'll learn about exoplanet atmospheres, chemistry, formation, and evolution from upcoming and future JWST observations. Sasha Hinckley, an associate professor of physics and astronomy at the University of Exeter in the United Kingdom, who played a lead role in these observations with a large international collaboration, also stated, This is a transformative moment, not only for Webb, but also for astronomy generally. Scientists in NASA launched the JWST from the Guyana Space Center on the 25th of December 2021, with high expectations of finding clues that could indicate life on exoplanets and galaxies. However, they had no idea that JWST's first captured image would be a revolutionary source to changing our perception of outer space. The mysterious light in one of the images captured by the JWST can prove viable evidence that life can exist on another planet. Another prime target of the JWST is Stefan's Quintet a group of five galaxies tightly bound together. The Stefan's Quintet is 290 million light-years away from the Earth and is located in the Pegasus constellation. A group of galaxies like this is important to scientists as they believe it would help them understand the massive and mysterious entity called dark matter, which is believed to be holding the universe. The James Webb Telescope has proved to be a piece of valuable equipment in this never-ending quest for life outside of the solar system. Scientists are looking forward to emerging with trailblazing discoveries using the information the JWST provides.